We actually use Stripe. Um, our um, company website is on Squarespace. We don't do a lot of e-commerce sales, but uh, we keep a few items in a in a shopping cart solution in in um, Squarespace, so that if we have a smaller client who wants to pay by credit card, we can we can direct them there to purchase some time, uh, so we can help them with a with small bits of help. Um, and so uh, we 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 collect a little bit of money from Stripe uh, periodically, and uh, if if we our long-term plan is to, we've been using an old accounting system called Account Edge for a long time. Our long-term plan has been to switch to QuickBooks for a while. And if that was the case, we'd be we'd be using the Stripe connector uh, probably to, to shove data directly into QuickBooks. But um, we're still using that old Account Edge software that's, uh, I don't even think it has an API. Um, so the uh, taking a look at, at Stripe just is interesting because we do use it, um, but at the moment, um, because I can't use it to to automate any of our accounting stuff. It's a it's a limited practical use for us. But it was interesting to take a look at it. The uh, connector um, is reasonably full featured um, compared to some of the connectors where you you look at the triggers and actions and and uh, wonder what you could do with them. The the, the Stripe uh, connector has a decent uh, array of triggers and and actions that you can perform. Um, you could certainly use it to manage a subscription-based um, payment system. Um, the for uh, playing around with it purposes and and getting to know the the connector a little bit and for purposes of this connector of the month type of thing, um, I picked one uh, fairly obvious one, the charge succeeded trigger, to put together a simple flow, um, and that's what I'm going to go through briefly right now. Uh, switch over to. Claris Connect console. So this is um, my project. We uh, at Portage Bay, we all use um, Connect a little bit. And uh, so uh, we each have a project defined for ourselves. This is the John project and uh, has the flows in it that I have um, that I work, have worked on in the past. And so I created a new flow called uh, PBS Stripe uh, for this demonstration. And uh, the first uh, the first item in my flow of course is a trigger and i used the charge succeeded trigger this is pretty simple um one of my favorite things about Claris connect is how easy it tends to be to connect your um, flow to your to your account uh, since we already had a stripe account the only problem i had was that um, i hadn't logged into it in a little while and stripe wanted to verify that i was who i said i was but for some reason that i'm not I didn't bother looking into. I had to actually uh, send them uh, pictures of the front and back of my driver's license in order to get them to validate me as me. Um, so it took a little longer to get connected than I than I expected. But once I got that resolved, um, adding this the trigger for Stripe was was trivial. Um, I was trying to play around a little bit, so I complicated up this flow. Um, all I'm all I'm trying to do from a practical standpoint is send out a Slack message saying that a charge came in and pushing that charge into a FileMaker table. And I added some extra flow steps in here to just play around with a few other things. Um, one was, uh, and I, th I think I actually had to do this. I don't think this was optional. Um, it, it, uh, what I wanted to do was show the dollar amount of my charge um, in the Slack message. Um, and as far as I could tell, there was no way to quite do that without doing it, without doing this calculation script step or flow step uh, here. The um, the charge amount coming in from Stripe um, is comes in in uh, in cents, not in dollars. So all my testing, I was using a um, uh, I was sent, uh, I was creating a payment on the Stripe website for, in our account for one of my credit cards for a dollar. And those are all coming through as a charge amount of 100. And so I wanted to change that to a, uh, um, a dollar amount instead of a cents amount. And the uh, as far as I could tell, the, the um, Slack uh, um, the Slack action, the post announcement action, doesn't allow you to perform a calculation in the, um, in the action here. So I, I created this uh, calculation up here where I'm just taking the dollar amount of the charge here that came in from the charge succeeded flow step and then multiplying it by um, 0.01. Pretty straightforward. 
Uh, and then I, I decided, uh, and this is where I was uh, trying to make my flow a little bit extra complicated, rather than send myself just an announcement saying that, that um, a charge came in, I broke it into two Slack announcements, one for um, dollar amounts of under a thousand and one for dollar amounts over a thousand. So my if statement says, um, if my result is over, uh, the result of my calculation up here is over 999, then post, um, then post this announcement, which just says um, urgent charge amount with the dollar amount, which is the result of my calculation up there. And then uh, my second if statement is saying, if it's less than a thousand, post a Slack announcement that doesn't have the word urgent um, word urgent in there. So that gets me two different announcements in, my, uh, in our announcements Slack channel, um, depending on the type of charge that's going in. And I actually think that will be a little bit handy. I'm gonna leave this flow active, um, mainly for that Slack announcement. Um, uh, in order to, to complete sort of this from a demo standpoint, I added a, a final flow step um, where I'm inserting the, uh, the payment information into a Stripe payments table um, in a FileMaker database that I already knew was connected. So I, I created a new table called Stripe payments in that, uh, in that table or in that file and uh, added this, um, this flow step here. Since my, um, my Claris Connect account already has a, connect, a connection to that FileMaker database, it was super easy just to add that as a final flow step to insert the data into FileMaker. And then I was uh, poking around, trying to see if there's some way to add comments to a flow. And I, I, didn't, uh, I didn't come up with a good way to put comments into a flow. Um, but uh, I did remember slash get reminded that I can change, uh, I can change the, the name of any step. Um, so I renamed all my flow steps to be more logical for the action that they're taking rather than the default flow step uh, name that they started out with. That made my if statements a lot easier to read, um, but everything else easier to read as well. Um, and that's uh, that's my quick overview of the of the Stripe uh, connector. Anybody have any comments or questions? <laughs>